here's what we see guys and it's not I'm just trying to show you that this is pitch black like here's the hallway we're about to go down that's what we're seeing without the night vision yep, I know. like pitch black and it, this is very creepy man and I do want to mention to people that I didn't even think that this was going to be that eerie in here when we initially walked through and there's like you know Christmas stuff around but I'm like really kind of freaked out how, how aren't you feeling that way I can kind yeah. of tell you are too yeah no I am I'm uneasy I think yeah, that's kind that's of what I'm feeling for more it. uneasy yeah I mean I haven't really felt anything intense quite yet it's just more upstairs the third floor definitely and it's there's just heavy this is um you know let's just I think it's going to start happening you know mm-hmm and don't forget that there's the potential for a serial killer who killed multiple people, his spirit, and then a guy who was a police officer who shot and killed his own wife. Jerry. Yeah, both of those Jerry. to be here. In addition to the people that were hanged for their crimes on this property, the other murderers that were here. There's a lot of like negative energy, I feel like, in this building. Yeah. And he even said people got bruises. So. Right. Okay. So. Jesus Christ, man. Hello? What? 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 Oh, I saw that. I thought I saw something moving. Oh, it's the light. Light. Jesus, I literally can't see a thing. Jesus. Oh, okay, there's a noise. Oh my god, okay, dude. Think, just, just this is very something. creepy. Oh. thing is look in front of you I know dude I am. it's, it's I literally to. completely pitch black let me just show people dude I've never been in a building this dark to investigate like literally I can't I can't even see my own hand in front of me okay I'm feeling so bad I'm feeling bad juju oh that little bear scared me Jesus you see that thing that looks like um, that is absolutely astounding how dark that is is there anybody here with us right now Who's here with us in the jail? Kill somebody?
So today we are in Far East Texas, heading to a community called Palestine. Hold on. Look better. You really think those make you look better? They're so blue. They're so bright. Vibrant. Okay, so, they're five dollar glasses. So today we have driven three and a half hours from Austin, four actually to a community called Palestine, Texas. Now, Palestine was founded in the 1800s. Initially, it was a pretty small settlement. There was French and Spanish activity in the area, lots of Native American history before Palestine was founded. It just kind of sprung up out of nowhere because it was this important point where they decided to run railroads through and start lumber industries. 1870s, the railroad was actually constructed in this area it ran right through Palestine and that's what really gave the town a population boost it was seated as the seat of Anderson County that's why there's a courthouse here and a jail the Anderson County Jail which is haunted which is where we're going to be spending the night tonight for a town with a somewhat not unremarkable but kind of just average history Palestine seems to have been marked with elements of, of death and darkness like you want to tell them about the space shuttle? Yeah, that was kind of a weird finding that back in 2003, unfortunately, the, uh, the space shuttle Columbia disaster where it disintegrated in the sky, unfortunately took the lives of all seven astronauts. About 40% of the debris fell in and around Palestine that they recovered from that space shuttle disaster. And I mean, you, you gotta imagine too, you've got, at that point, debris raining from the sky that's already been marked by the deaths of all seven crew members. It was almost as if a sort of darkness fell in and around the city of Palestine just then in 2003. But I mean, you you would have only been about seven years old. Yeah. So I remember that across the sky. You could literally see the pieces and a little flame, if you will, just disintegrating. It was crazy, you know, but I, I didn't know it was right over here. That was 2003. Hard to believe that this town was impacted by such a tragic national, even global event. All that debris, I mean, I'm sure there's a ton of debris still left in the area that people never recovered fully. Then in 2015, the area was hit by another massive tragedy when a guy opened fire on a group of campers. They were actually a family that had purchased this land. It was their land that they were on from this killer's family and they were camping spending the night this guy helped them get their truck out of some mud and was following them into the woods just acting like a good neighbor and he opened fire killed six people including a young boy and almost an entire family that's an unbelievable story six people killed in cold blood all because this killer claimed that he was mad that they had bought his family's land and that was just a couple miles north of palestine technically still in the area of of the town. I don't know, it's interesting. You don't really, a lot of these small towns don't have negativity and darkness like that, wouldn't you say? You know, I, I guess after hearing this, I, I would, I'm not really so sure, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. maybe there is a lot more. I think there is a lot more everywhere that you don't know. It gets lost, you know? It's kind of like, it's maybe in the news at the time, but then over the years, it's forgotten. Yeah. Tonight, like I said, Papa Spooks and I are headed to the Anderson County Jail. Now this is a very, very creepy looking jail with a interesting history. I'm not gonna tell you guys about it now. We're actually about to roll up. We're three minutes away, so. Here we are. Here we are. What are your thoughts? Uh, my first thought is maybe you should get out of the street so you don't get smoked. Here we are, man, and uh, Texas, this is right? actually a pretty good pretty big jail. Isn't this and the second oldest city in Texas? That's what I was told, you know. I, I think we'll have to ask Sonia just to be sure. A uh, family owns this and lives here. So that's that's pretty crazy to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Very gracious again to let us come here. I mean, just invited us, really. Definitely much larger than I expected it to be. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I can do shadow animals on your shirt. There you go. Wow. I'm excited to get yeah. in here. It's right. got a certain well, 
certain look to it, you know, it's interesting. Almost more looks like a hospital than a jail. Yeah, I kind of does. That doesn't seem you know, like a jail to me. I wouldn't look at that and think jail. But honestly. So today we're actually going to start the episode a bit differently. I've read a lot of your guys' comments saying that we should kind of get our vibe before we know the history of the jail. And neither of us have refreshed our knowledge of the jail's history yet. We're going to go inside while the sun is still up and just walk through Jeff and I and see if we feel anything that correlates to what happens later on in the investigation, even after we've been told the stories. So let's go meet the owners and then get that done and do the interview. Okay. Okay, so after a while now you can see there is no sun. If you want to show everybody over yeah. there. Um, also, I'm going to tie these pants because they're kind of loose on me. So Jeff and I are just going to do our little blind walk through into the jail right now. We've already met with the owner. We're going to do our interview next, but want to check it out before the sun sets? I was Let's trying to do get it. In. Yeah, okay. Also, just got this new outfit today. Wow. Just for this investigation, but I want to point out that I did not remember to get cool shoes. So I've just got my ASIC. Okay, I'm just going to call you Big Bird. <laughs> Let's go, Big Bird. Okay. This is Christmas theme. Christmas stuff. I mean, this is, she's done a ton of work in here. This is. Don't you have like 30,000 people go through here? So this is. This is actually the jail. Wow. I was hoping that I would glow in here. It's just. I mean, the little champion. Never mind. Okay. This place is not decorated like I thought it would be. Oh, jeez. Definitely kind of eerie in here. It's interesting there, all these cells. Ooh, spooky hallway. Amazing amount of decorations. Great. Look at this uh, women tank right here. Check this out. Here's our, how we got here. The vehicle. Safer right there, let me drop. <laughs> I like that. That is me. I like Big Bird, I guess. Big Bird's a good one. Big I like Big Bird. Maybe Minion? Come on, Big Bird. It's Whoa. It's, a, it's like, it's, there, yeah. this is like the laser grid that we set it up. It's already it set up for it us. It's already here. Wow. Use the old urinal and the toilet at once. Have you ever seen it? <laughs> no. You can, yeah. Double duty right there. One and two all equals three. three. All you can go three. Oh, here's ghost. Oh. Fitting. This is a cell block. They, wow, this like looks like they cut through here. I feel like if you just walked through this, you wouldn't even be able to tell that it's a jail. Hey, it's your twin. What the heck, look at. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was really good. There it is. You should stand by it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna shout. You know, you, you'll probably here. get. What do you think? You know, I think what's happening is Pikachu is much slimmer. <laughs> You might have to get back on that low carb <laughs> diet there, buddy. The Pikachu's been working out. You can you can tell. The you know. Pikachu is Pikachu's kind of nothing compared to Sidekick Grinch over here. He's got a six pack. Hmm. <laughs> okay, just move on. Where am I going? Yeah. Um, I am totally. Yeah, this is kind confused of here. Like, confusing let's go, layout let's go out here. here. I wonder what these Not cells were. Lot. Just holding holding cells, probably. Ooh. You could get up there later and I can get you on the old porcelain throne. It's <laughs> gonna be your most visited room in this jail. There's a little armor in here. See this giant butcher knife? Cleaver? <laughs> She's done a ton of work here. Yeah. Wow. Wouldn't that be cool like if you were actually a prisoner and this is where you came to prison? Yeah. It's like decorated like this. Yeah, this is like, like the happy, happiest yeah, prison I've happy. ever been to. Okay, you're in the DVD cell. <laughs> and you can watch any film that you want. Okay, you killed two people, but that's okay. Ghost is here. So is Murder on the Orient Express. Perfect. Twilight. And if you're not sick of the Grinch yet, we have the Grinch as well. Oh, true lies. Two Grinches. Look at this. True lies. People may not want to know this, but... People may not want to know this, but... What was that? 
Hello? Did this just fall? No. No. I don't remember seeing that. I don't. I just got a shot of this. Oh my gosh. Okay. And we were just joking around too. You would have shot that. I think so, yeah. Prior. So Where would fun. that have come from? I mean, even. That's interesting. If, if gotta... that was the noise, yeah, we don't know if that was. Yeah, I. That, that was would... loud though. I think it. Yeah, you wonder. That was loud, wasn't it? Mm hmm. That was crazy, actually. I guess they don't like jokes. Um, you wanna go this way? This way? Yeah, this is that hallway. Oh, there's some upstairs right here. Oh. What do you wanna do? Let's go walk down this one so we can cover this. Storage. Storage. Oh, thanks, Jesus. So this is like... This is trippy back this, here. This would be like a, a catwalk. Mm-hmm. You know, where you, they'd be able to go around and check on people. Same because oh, look at this hallway. Can we come back? Huh? It's just a, a long hallway. Oh yeah, it is, I know. These lights, it just looks kind of... Imagine being in here on like acid or mushrooms. Oh jeez. So this is just strictly to walk around to check. Wow, oh, off your head. Oh, yeah, jeez, look at this. If I stand oh, up no. straight, I'm actually touching it. Yeah, my sunglasses just cracked. Well, I'm kind of mixed, oh, geez, I'm mixed where up. Where are we? Okay, here we go. Oh. These things are always cool to see. Yeah, wow. This just already feels weirder, don't you think? This? I think right, it's the right, lack of well, decorations. Well, I think, I think actually right when you hit here where I'm standing. Yeah, it's I like mean, a, I can feel it's something cold too. Right here. Way colder, oh, way right colder. Here. Spray paint. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, that a shirt. It's kind of creepy to open oh, a door in this okay. case. So, we're gonna go to the third story now. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, Look at yeah. this place, man. Oh, my oh, baby. Oh, hey. Oh, my God. It's me. No. <laughs> it's me. No, that's your actual father. <laughs> what? Your this real is my father. Dad. Go stand by. I was by adopted. Him. Why are there so many yellow objects here? Look, you can be like. Wow. Now, the opposite is true. Um, He's definitely not on the whole car. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his uniform. Huh. Oh. Anybody that knows me personally outside of YouTube and stuff knows I love minions too. So this is definitely gonna take a photo. So I hate later. to burst your bubble on this one, but I absolutely detest minions. Well, I hate them so much that I love them. Really? They're okay, just so I don't, terrible that they're I just great. I'm sick of minions. Sorry, kids. You ever seen minion memes? No, I don't look at memes. Oh, then no. you don't know. I'm an anti-memer. Wow. Oh, look at I this I love place. the lighting in oh this my place. God. This is insane. But it's like almost, with all the decorations, it's kind of hard to tell what's what, really. Like, I have it no is. idea what yeah. this room would have been. If this were a prison like this, this would drive maybe more crazy. Oh, me definitely. You know what I'm saying? I'm assuming these are just cells. Here's oh, you okay. can see like a bed almost down there. You know, like a metal cot. Yeah, this is. Oh, look at that one's busted. It's kind of creepy. Ooh. Wonder what happened there. And I'm assuming this way will lead us mm -hmm. somewhere. So we're on what now? What? We're on the what? We're on three. Three. Okay, third floor. God, it kind of starts getting heavy. Look at all this. In this. What do you think? <sighs> Yeah, it's definitely colder. It's kind of just claustrophobic back here, yeah. really. Oh my gosh. This is like almost a... That is eerie. You feel... Look at that. It's a dark hole. Oh, man. Tell me the energy isn't yeah. thick right here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it almost gives me chills. And it is colder you know, in here. I get this weird thing mm. with my sinuses mm -hmm. when I feel something. Let me get this, a shot here. Can this I, oh. definitely. Wow. Yeah, this is heavier here. This is. I don't know if it's because that's. This part. Ooh, it's definitely significantly colder. Oh man. So these are all really cells, but they're just they're storage and. I don't know if this if this place. Can you open that door? Or is that door open? Or is it? No, oh, they got. It's, it's okay. It's Never mind. Wire. I don't know if it's the lack of lighting in this area, but this feels the weirdest to me so far. This. Yeah, you can definitely you see feel that. It. Oh, that's creepy, man. Yeah, I've got like a goose. What do you call them? 
Goosebump? Goosebumps, I think. Wow. Oh. What's... Mr. Yeah. Skellington, we got a Halloween oh. room over here. This is Halloween. It's a weird vibe in this part of the prison, or jail. Probably because it's Halloween themed. This thing is like supposed to be a mirror right there. That'd be creepy if you see a reflection in there. Yeah, I think that'd be very creepy. Especially if it's your reflection. This is almost... Um, I almost feel not only heavy, but I feel a little darker. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like It's just darker in here. It's, well, it is darker, but like, technically, but I mean, it just feels... Vibe-wise. Energy-wise to me. This is a All trusty is tank. Here. Trusty tank. What is a trusty? <clears throat> a trusty? Why are they in a tank? Weird. This? Oh, no! Oh, oh, Jesus. Sorry. What? Oh, my God. my God. Literally, I saw this thing, and I thought it was an animal. <laughs> <laughs> I really it did. The shit I thought it was like me. a raccoon or something coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I looked over, like, what the heck? <laughs> Oh that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Jesus, man. How Jokes aside, this definitely, I would is think, there is more the more down here. I think this is it. That's it. This just gives me kind of ominous. Oh, look at this control panel. Oh, we did that. <laughs> We're circled back. Okay. I didn't really realize I was looking at the minions. Yeah, I didn't even see what was behind With all these control panels. That's super cool. Well, what do you think? I think after just walking through. Top floor definitely weirdest to me. Yeah, down downstairs, I mean, I, I think we want to look at it, but I didn't, I didn't really the area where we near heard the as noise. much. No, this, but this little area right here. Where's the area that we felt, down, I mean, downstairs, is that the skunk? Yeah. Oh, we got to ask someone mm -hmm. on that, that was yeah. weird. Yeah. I mean, not, right. not even really this side. This is, I mean, it's got something to do with the lighting too for me. Yeah. But like, look, at this is not spooky. Yeah. And then you kind of walk. This is like, to me, the only really Ooh, part of this place. Yeah. It just feels well. It's different. definitely more back to the original kind of feel, you know. But definitely, this is um, this is a darker right here. Whew! I can. Is that water? Oh, it is water. Look out. But yeah, let's. Uh, I guess okay. let's do the interview now. Yeah. You ready? Yep. That's right. Okay. Hi, I'm Jeremy Jans. And I'm Sonia Martinez. We're here at the Texas Jailhouse, also known as the historic Anderson County Jail. Uh, we decided to buy this building after adventuring a lot of these abandoned properties around here for its deep, rich history, tons of paranormal activity, and just good old deep root Texas history. Yeah, we love Palestine. We love being able to, you know, preserve and restore a building that has been here since, you know, 1939. The original Joe was here. Uh, we love Palestine. It's definitely a destination town for tourism. And we want to keep people coming back. It's also a paranormal hub. There are lots and lots of stories of paranormal activity in these old buildings. Just two blocks away uh, is a cemetery with 60,000 people buried in it. And what? our population is 18,000. So for us, the fun twisted twist of all this is that we live in this building. So. Once was a jailhouse for those that didn't want to be here, and now it's a jailhouse for those that forever can't escape, and for us who love sharing that space. Well, y'all want to go inside? Yeah, yeah come on in. Ooh, we'll lock you up and lock you out, man. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> So we do a Christmas event and uh, it's called the Grinch's Lair. Um, thousands of people come through in November and December to see the Grinch locked up here in the jail. So you get to see some of our decorations, but it doesn't seem to keep the ghosts away. In fact, a lot of people like to believe that they interact with different objects. When the energy changes, the energy changes everywhere in this place. So in different floors, different levels, spaces, rooms, you'll get a vibe everywhere we go. So. Come on, cruise through with us. The original gel keys. Something about this gel is it was keyed by the same company that rekeyed Alcatraz. 
and um, they still have the codes for them so if we lost keys or needed keys for any of these doors we can you know uh, call them and send them our deed to prove that we do own the gel and they will cut us a new key but they're very very expensive this is a classic object that a lot of people who do investigations want to come utilize uh, feel like there's something connected to them a lot of times when they're going through the catwalk which we'll go to mm -hmm. next once we go upstairs uh, there's been images of cowboy sheriff jailers walking through using these as you know a medium essentially to bring them and call them out so there's the good the bad and the ugly up in here <laughs> Those things are gnarly. They're Man. weapons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold on to those for your investigation. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. you. There you go, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to the staircase, aka toxic snowflakes. Is what happened when pollution happens, folks. So, <laughs> it's everywhere. That's why they glow. So, this is. Uh, if you want to come over there, we'll show you this. This is an interesting part of the gel. Uh, we did have uh, someone from the History Channel come in and. Um, he looked at this and he says he's not sure how many uh, are still working or even exist in the United States. And basically it's a chain crank system to shut all of the doors. I'm going to see if I can get some power behind it. Shut. Like uh -huh. And you would move these around to, you know, decide which door you wanted to open or shut. As always. <laughs> Come on in, you're welcome, cruise in. <laughs> so we call this the cage. Every room in here we've had to name, just so we know what we're talking about. Um, this would have been general holding cells. There's four cells in here with bunk beds and uh, the shower, which would be on the other side of there. Uh, they would eat their meals here. Of course, this is where the Grinch does all of his gambling. So uh, we really love incorporating the gel into the stories that we tell here, uh, the fictional stories and you know the true life stories. And for us with the paranormal, a lot of it started right here in this space. We started doing EVP sessions. We've had teams from all over come in. And before we did the cleanup, restoration of all of this, it was raw, dirty, grime. It felt like it was abandoned, which essentially it was. And we would sit at this table with people from all over and hear voices like who in that room and footsteps. Just for a little comedy relief, we'll share a quick story where we're all sitting around this table and for those of you out there who've done EVP sessions, we're all intently listening and we're just like jamming and someone says, do you hear that? What? I think I hear footsteps. All right, everybody, let's listen. Dead silence. Footsteps! Jump up, run, whatever. All of a sudden, this lady swears she hears footsteps and it was just someone walking around the building who scared the crap out of us. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't I've... find the footsteps, but bro, they were there. Like afterwards, we heard all kinds of activity and the doors creaking and swinging right from this table. Wow. So this is kind of a central point of activity, this area? Yeah, we've, we've gotten a lot of EVPs in this area. Not as many uh, like apparitions, but um, it, it is a good space, especially when you get all the lights turned out and you sit here, uh, you can hear a lot, you know, especially uh, just because it's kind of open around these gel cells, you know, and there's a catwalk and we'll take you there soon. Walk mm -hmm. over here. You want to tell them about what we heard? Yeah. That, well, I thought you were in it. <clears throat> so we were just in this room, and we heard a, a crash, like a big noise. And we're, camera, we yeah, camera. we have it on camera. We're like, what? The and it's like, it's over there. And I think it's that. Yeah. We're going to have you look. Was this skunk always laying down there? Or where would that have... Because we heard a really loud noise come from this area, and we walked over, and we were like... We didn't want to... We didn't want to... Um, <clears throat> What do you think? Is that The there? skunk has not been here. <laughs> it, it's usually in this area, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. usually like oh. right no. there. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. So, wow. so you know, too, we're, like we're totally about authenticity. Like that's what his channel is known for. Like we don't fake anything. Like yeah. if it's not there, 
it's a, yeah, kind of a boring episode. Yeah, exactly. But it's the way it is. It's mostly yeah. about debunking yeah. Yeah. and yeah. finding that, what it could be. That, you know, we had somebody in last week who, you know, doing some film scouting, and so I walked around picking up everything. I know that wasn't mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. it, it definitely belongs in this area, but yeah. uh, that's interesting. It's very interesting. Strange. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll have it on channels. So. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, but this is where the shower would have been. The shower was for, you know, all of these cells. They would have to come out and shower in front of everybody. Mm. And, uh, Another little fun fact about showers for all you people at home that love to, you know, maybe have a tough day, right? <laughs> and hopefully you don't take it too far like some of these people. But what it is, is if you can see in here, come on in. So the way the shower is designed with the shower head right here is that it's designed so that you can't hang yourself on this. Wow. Now there's a few other spots inside the jail where I'll show you where there's been indications of people who actually hung themselves in various cells, but they designed these so that ideally you don't decide to hang yourself in this shower. Wow. So you might have a tough day, but you know, you might want to get one of these shower heads. <laughs> you can't choose the shower, yeah, man. <laughs> so just on that note, we'll show you inside here, yeah? When you walk around, you'll notice there's some of these hooks, right? Now, in a lot of other modern facilities, it's not common to have these types of objects where, once again, they try to present, prevent people from doing any harm to themselves. But we've had plenty of stories where people would tie themselves off here and actually decide to try to either end their life or were successful in ending their life by hanging from these objects. Really? Confirmed stories? Yes, from past deputies or sheriffs. One of our favorite parts about what we've done here is that the oral history is rich. There's people who've had family members who either worked here or had uh, friends that worked here, and we've had an opportunity to speak to a lot of those people. And was this an actual hook where somebody would have taken their own life, or are there specific ones that you guys know about? We don't have specific ones. They're, the stories we hear are usually on the third floor. When you get to the third floor, you'll see the cells are a little bit more closed off versus these bars here where you can see where a jailer can walk the catwalk monitor and police this general area so it's less common what you would see in these areas for privacy though is they would tie fabric up on the bars to help hide themselves whether it was in bed or you know around the cell itself but oftentimes they'd take that down so it's more common that they would have a hanging up on the third floor wow and what kind yes. of what? That's where we really feel yeah, that's the energy we, that's up there. Before we felt we were talking on camera about how that's like the heaviest to us. Mm -hmm. Third. And what kind of prisoners would have been in this area? This would have been general holding. You might have been in here for a couple of days or a couple of weeks. Um, not probably longer than a month or two here, or uh, then you would be moved to the third floor of the trustee tanks. And um, this was short-term holding uh, in this area. The drunk tank, though, is actually on the first floor. Uh, it's a room that you'll see a door in the lobby later on when you guys walk around. You'll see the door right behind where it says Grinch's Lair. And we had the good fortune of learning that that was actually the drunk tank through our rehabilitation of this building. Whenever you start to hook up water, you try to run and check all of your pipes. And, you know, for those of you out there in Texas, you know what that's like right now and everywhere else, you know, I'm sorry if you bust pipes. Well, we're checking pipes. All of a sudden, that cell starts flooding water. Go to check a valve, try to shut it off. There's a hole in the ground, thought it was a drain. Turns out that's actually the toilet. And uh, we got to learn that from one of a past family deputy member who, quickly informed me that all that deliciousness that flowed up was from the drunk tank. So, so vomit. Yeah, there's, there was goodies, man. Oh, man. This is the, uh, this is the only woman's tank. 
probably for until the 70s when they moved all the women downstairs if they had women in jail. Uh, but um, this has four cells in, inside. We use it for storage right now. Um, A lot of times I think in prison current county facilities you're going to hear the term pods. Pods are a lot more common in newer builds. Tanks are going to refer to these spaces that essentially are this communal space. And this was that communal space. It's the only cell that actually has four bunk beds, which is minimal compared to apparently all the bad boys out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or bad girls. Yeah, here they are. This cell, we, we can't get in here right now. It was painted pink. When we walk around, I'll show you the mesh. Uh, it held a, a famous prisoner that was here. His name was Monty Allen Delk, and he was executed in Huntsville in 2002. He was kind of like a Craigslist killer of his time where he would answer ads uh, put uh, in the paper for people selling things, and he would murder them, you know, when he would go to meet them to purchase these items, and he killed his last three people in Anderson County and uh, he was a very unsavory character had a lot of mental health issues he wouldn't bathe he didn't bathe for two years they, he started digging away at the mortar uh, you know on the walls and so it's got uh, steel plates on all the walls and extra mesh on the bars because he would reach out try to grab the deputies walk, walking by and he would listen he was very intelligent he would listen to their conversations and then taunt them about the things they talked about whether it was family or, or people that you know that were close to these uh, prison guards or you know the sheriffs so serial killer serial killer. was held in here serial essentially well, also um, Henry Lee Lucas was questioned in Anderson County and he stayed the night in the jail while they were wow. um, questioning him um, and of course there were other cases that were more important um, you know, with more evidence around the state, and so they moved on. Wow. And so you just can't get in here? Not not at the moment. All our decorations. Uh, apologize. That's okay. Holly jolly. I really want to, I can slip my camera through there and get a shot of the inside, because yeah. that's, yeah, and as we that's walk around badass, the dude. This, this right here, when you look at these, these, just so if you want to get a shot, these are actually the anchors that are holding the steel plated wall on the other side which was specifically installed, like Sonia was saying, for Monty Allen Dell. Really? They yeah. put these in just for him? Just for him. Wow. Because he was just digging out, digging holes. So we learned that when we saw this. This room over here was truly, right, your isolation. Wow. Okay. So initially the thought was the bolts maybe padded room, space, something. No, that is all for a steel plated wall on the other side right there. This, as you can see, is approximately seven by six and no windows, nothing, no toilets. This was just the hole. Wow. No doors and no way out. Where's that from? Haunted Mansion <laughs> reference, nice. <laughs> so right now, of course, it's decorated but this is the elevator shaft and in the 1879 gel this is where the um, the gallows would have been in this area and um, of course uh, it hasn't been used the elevator it wasn't used hardly any at all uh, when we bought the building but the sub pump in the basement had when they shut off the electricity it flooded and circuited out the board and so we still haven't been able to use our elevator but one day so this is how many executions would have happened here any it's idea hard, it's hard to tell it, you know it really w is hard to tell i through my uh research and history i i found four um and that's just from and we're talking uh 1879 to you know the 1900 and in one of these houses, there is a photo of the last public hanging in town, but it wasn't in the jail. It was right on the courthouse square yeah. across the street. And I believe still some of the trees that were used at that time are still on the square. Yeah. The hanging trees? Hanging trees. Wow. And it's like, <laughs> this is legitimately what we have done for like so many years. Went through this catwalk 
backwards a number of times. So here we are. Visitation's kind of blocked, so you yeah, can't really yeah. show them. But if you do do something up here, this was the visitation space uh, for the inmates. And the family would have been on the other side. So Sonia's continuing around. The strange feeling walking around the catwalk. Um, it's just a heavy feeling that I get, mm -hmm. um, especially around some of the corners. And um, as you come around, you can go ahead and come, and you can see it's very long, you know, hallway. And I'm always, I always think I'm going to see something at the other end walking by, and uh, hasn't happened to me yet. <laughs> Why do you think that is that you guys get a heavy feeling here? I'm not sure what it is right here. I think it could be connected to where this is in the building and where we get activity up on the third floor. It's usually right here in this space. Mm. So I'm not really sure if it's a residual energy that just keeps playing over and over and just feels heavier for some reason in this spot. I believe this was also the segment of the catwalk that we had another paranormal team say that they saw a shadow figure walking down this section of the catwalk. So it could be someone, you know, with that residual energy from the life that they led and this was their life here, you know, mm -hmm. watching these people. So as you can see, you can see the whole cage area from here. That was the way that they monitored this. This would have been how you could have segmented off the facility to help protect different segments uh -huh. uh, so they could isolate different parts of the jail at different times for various reasons. We're coming up, I guess. Yeah, and this was the cell we were just talking about, Monty Allen, where they had to put the, re the, the reinforced steel and this um, this mesh bar up here. We, we've taken the bottom part off right there, but it was mesh all the way down, just to keep him from reaching out. He would lunge at people yeah. when they walked through? Mm -hmm. There were even stories that he would be looking out the windows at cars for license plates and various information and try to get information on uh, deputies or family members just to antagonize. Wow, what a real... Mm -hmm. Dirt bag, man. Yeah. Oh, it's a real deal. It's a real deal. Hardcore. So. This is where, you know, they would have taken the booking shots and... Is that original? They, yes, this is original. Wow. Of course, I added the glitter, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I've wanted to paint over it several times, but my family says, no, don't do it. So this is the original. It looks fairly crude. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> I actually have never taken a measuring tape to see if it's actually accurate, but it's really cute when the kids come in and get their little booking shots during one of our six, events. Stay from six foot. Still there. Yeah. There you still are. There, and I'm still 5'11". <laughs> <laughs> My wife will always say 5'11 and three quarters. <clears throat> she you never do? gives. Yeah, she never gives me the six feet. Uh, oh, so that's I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, how six feet? She's like. This is my phone. Well, the DMV wouldn't give me half an inch. They're like four ten. Four ten. <laughs> they wouldn't give me the. You got to round up. <laughs> yeah, for real. So welcome back, full circle, right? That's full circle. Crazy. That's my phone. Yeah. So these are all the gifts from family members of inmates thanking us for taking the place <laughs> over. <laughs> so this is a. Right here, it's a tank. It would, I think it's the C tank. Up here would be trustee tanks, people who are here two to four years. They might get privileges to either to go out and work in the community or they would go down to the kitchen downstairs and they would cook meals and um, you know just keep the facility running or they were here uh, long term. Um, I have read letters that have been left over. Um, that were written to the judge asking for uh, help. One guy had uh, an inmate uh, or a, a, a jail, you know, a cellmate who hadn't seen a judge in nine months. Mm. Uh, he'd been up here for nine months. He didn't speak English and uh, he was trying to help his cellmate out. I can't imagine being up here for nine months and never getting out, no. you know, or your family not knowing where you are. Wow. Yeah. There's. 
is seven cells that would hold. Okay, so originally this was a bathroom. It would have had a sink and a shower. It does, it's just heavily decorated right now. But um, you walk around, I've made it into a cave. Okay, so originally this was a bathroom. It would have had a sink and a shower. It does, it's just heavily decorated right now. But um, you walk around, I've made it into a cave. However, this is a very significant part of, you know, the paranormal teams when they come in here. We've had three separate teams. Um, you'll come on out here. Three separate teams take uh, a photo of the same apparition on different nights, different years. The apparition would have been right here. Uh, and it is all the same. It's a, 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 a taller man with a cowboy hat. Um, and it's kind of a silhouette and it would just be right here and actually I feel when we come into this area I immediately feel the heaviness it's a different temperature um, I always feel like I'm being watched up here there's something here and I'm not this is the hardest room for me to decorate when I'm decorating there's things that always go wrong I either fall or I get burned really bad with hot glue uh, I've run you know hit things I've bumped my head I don't like working in this room that's crazy because he and I were saying that this is the what we felt was the most yeah. mm -hmm. like present Everybody. of the whole building. For sure. That's Everybody something... who comes up here, even even when we're having our holly jolly Christmas and there's hundreds of people that come through, thousands of people come through, they'll come down and they'll be like, what's up with the third floor left side? They feel it. It's, wow. it's something here. The force is strong in this room. You can feel it like genuinely. Yeah. You can. Like it's such a it, thick. It, it is. Th the thickness is right. The thickness, the weight. We've had volunteers come down and they'll have a little bruise on their arm or they broke like glasses or whatever else. And of course you check in to find out if they're okay. And for them, they're just freaked out that something ripped glasses off their face or grabbed their arm. And really? So, so kind of physical stuff here. We've had different people who've had those experiences and it's pretty wild it's pretty interesting when you know you cross them and you see it in their face you know it's it's an emotional experience for them mm -hmm. interesting enough uh i got a letter we get letters all the time that are meant to go to the other jail and we'll forward those but i got a letter from a prison uh, an inmate in another prison it was for me and the man was telling me that he had been incarcerated here um, for a while and he explained exactly where he was and he had I guess read a newspaper article about us and just wanted to let us know that our building is haunted because he was here and um, he was actually in the cell back here locked in the cell and apparitions would come in and visit him several different ones of course it's fitting that it's a Halloween room but <laughs> This would have been the cell that he was in and he was talking about when he wrote about and he even wrote to uh, a judge. He told the sheriffs and that, you know, he was being haunted in this room and it was very real and very scary for him. But of course, I mean, what can they do? And what did he say he was experiencing or seeing? Uh, he said there was a child that uh, he saw regularly uh, and then just, uh, I believe the letter said that he saw spirits basically so in this room in this room being can you imagine being locked in a jail cell and away from everybody else and spirits are just walking beside you when you're trying to sleep and you can't escape you can't escape so that was wow. that was something and that was right yeah this guy right was here. saying yeah, here right here right here some of the other stories we've also been told about the third floor is when they shut this facility down as a county jail, they actually turned it into a juvenile detention facility. They didn't utilize this third floor space so much as they did the second floor, other than sending the people who are hardcore delinquents, giving everybody a hard time, just troublemakers, they'd send them up here. And this was the spot that they would just let them stay for the night 
and every time they came back down reform just asking not to be put up in this space because there was something there something watching them and they just could not handle it they just wanted to be back on the second floor and that was right here in this cell in this cell wow specifically the third floor but this definitely this cell i do not spend a whole lot of time up here All because of the feel just the, the feel and like i said earlier it's you know i i'm an artist and i try to make things come together you know just really kind of spontaneously but it always goes wrong while you make your way through some of these spaces, if you do decide to come and like sit up here, you'll want to just take note of some of these, you know, objects for, you know, James Howard and have no idea who he is, but you'll see carvings in various spots on all of it, totally authentic. Strange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something that Sonia was mentioning about the ceiling is if you look up, right up here you'll notice you'll see joey joey's kind of a legend around here we asked for him don't know him can't find the history on him but when you look close it's all smoke it's all soot so there was a time where you could smoke in jail right well what they decided to do is they would take uh, the paper towel cores were very sooty and the story is that they'd light them and they would gently layer them. You can see some signs of it right here. Individual smoke circles until they spelled out their name or message, whatever it is that they wanted to share while they were up here. Wow. And that's all throughout the facility, all these smoke words. So this is a, uh, one of the only cells that has a shower, a bathroom that can be separated from the general population, uh, law enforcement who can, you know, commit a crimes were put up here. Um, actually, if you, you can walk in, you can actually see where up here, while they were putting the reinforced steel uh, downstairs on the second floor, um, they put Monty Allen Delk in here. So he was really? in here for a little while. And there's a story. Oh, is that his signature? That was, that wow. was him. Crazy. And you can go to YouTube, there's actually an audio of a reenactment of when he was executed because well, the things he said were, were very, you know, they, they were crazy. Really, really crazy. crazy. Monty That's Allen Delk. This yeah. was one of the cells that he was held. I mean, he just the jail in general. He, he was held here for two years until his trial was over and then he was sent to Huntsville. Mm. And, death uh, row. Yeah, right. death row. And mm. executed in 2002. One other story that at times we love to share is this gentleman Jerry J-E-R-Y right story about this guy was actually he wasn't known to be a really bad guy you know he was married he was local law enforcement I believe uh, and what happened was they owned a, an establishment came home wasn't supposed to be home his wife was having some extra marital relations and he decided to get the shotgun and shoot her. When he shot her, apparently he called, turned himself in, said he killed his wife. They came to get him and they put him in this cell to isolate him from all the other prisoners because he knew lawyers, he knew judges, he was involved with law enforcement. So they wanted to keep him safe. But what happened to Jerry was when they put him in here, it was his own little isolation. He essentially lost his mind when that happened. The story was they had a hard time getting him to eat for almost a year. Everything just snapped for him that day when he shot his wife. And this is where he stayed. That's his carving. That's his carving right there. So you got two killer's carvings in the same little... Same little cell. Got That's one. crazy. Yeah. Wow. You got one who's a crime of passion and one who's just serial killer crazy man love hurts <laughs> yeah, right. the first night we moved in uh, my daughter she was a teenager um, we were walking into our kitchen area it's a huge kitchen it's where they made all of the meals for uh, everybody who stayed in the jail and the inmates and as I walked into the kitchen I saw an apparition on the other side uh, walk past the door I stopped um, it was small, it was a child, uh, and um, 
my daughter was like, what, what? And I didn't want to terrify her on our first night living in the jail, and so I was like, nothing, nothing. So that was my first experience with an apparition in the jail was the first night that, that we, we moved in. The other one that you've described to me was something on the bed. This building is 12,000 square feet of solid concrete and steel. Nothing's gonna move. Um, and our bed, I felt something, you know, sit at the end of the bed and, you know, you feel it go down and um, that happened. I've, I've actually seen spirit animals uh, in the jail a couple of times. I've never even heard of them and I saw a dog and I'm like, there's a dog in the jail and went around the corner and it, there was nothing. Whispering. I was up on the third floor and I heard footsteps. It was really late, I was working and nobody was up there and heard footsteps and then I, I heard whispering and it didn't really bother me at first, but then I heard multiple whisperings and I was like, they're conspiring against me and I'm so far away and I ran down the stairs and I'm like, I'm done for the night. Just the feeling, somebody's watching you or following you sometimes in the jail happens. So for me, it's slightly different. You know, I'm a believer in all kinds of possibilities and realities, and I've spent so much time in this building working on so many components, whether it be climbing under the building, where if you climb under this building, there is the remains of the 1800s jail, where you can see the bricks and the footers and all these interesting artifacts, like possum skeletons. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. whatever that is, I just don't want to come across any of those animals, but it is freaky down there. And when your light goes out, it's a real life scary story trying to get out of it. But that weight, you know, of being under this and the history that was there has been an interesting experience for me. So I try to troubleshoot everything, whether it was a creek, a door, any of that. We did walking tours to the cemetery and we'd go to the cemetery come on back and it's a bit of a walk i'd say we cover easily over a mile mile and a half depending on how far people want to go into the cemetery and these older i call them biker ladies it's just the way they are to me they have these leather jackets and they whip out these walkers one of them and i'm no way are they making it to the cemetery and upstairs well, sure enough, these ladies were bad to the bone, man. They came in this place after doing the walk and rarely do you get people that want to call on serial killers or murderers or demons, you know. I'm cool to go, you know, R a little bit, but these ladies wanted to go full throttle and they just wanted them to pull their hair and like slap them. And we had a flashlight on the counter and it was standing essentially upside down to block the light. And all of a sudden, it just starts spinning. It just starts rotating. The energy in the room completely changed. One of those moments where I look over at Sonia and I started to get that sickness feeling. And I thought to myself, I don't know that I'm comfortable with this. And the laser grids, all of a sudden, and you'll see them around here, the dots. They'll use them to try to see if something breaks the light. Well, all of a sudden these little dots start spinning and swirling in this one little segment. I had about enough. I just shared with them, it's all good. You can ask for anything, but if we could keep the demons out of it and us not getting slapped or hair pulled, I'm all in. And it stopped after that and then immediately changed. But really kind of a curious, freaky sort of moment that I personally can't explain and I do that diligently to try to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. The third floor where the shadow person is and then the only other experience I've had that I couldn't explain is again back to that third floor. Mm -hmm. It feels really strange like something is constantly watching you and we spent long late nights and I've looked out you'll see one of the tiny windows up there that just someone seemed like they were watching me and at that time I just tell them it's all good. I'm here. You're here. You've been here. You're not going anywhere. I'm not trying to join you right now. So let's just keep it cool. It's all good. It's our home. Much love going downstairs. My kind of final question, what's it like actually living here in a haunted jail? Because you know people are going to look at this and go, oh, these guys living in a haunted jail, I would never do that. You know, <laughs> but you guys seem very happy and kind of content living well, here. What's, what's it like? First of all, it's an above ground fallout shelter. 
Um, it was actually annotated as that, so it's solid. I don't worry about hurricanes. I don't really worry about anybody trying to break into a gel like you would, you know, if you have a home. Um, also, it's uh, we, we've I've worked really hard, and he's worked hard to make our living space. We turned offices into bedrooms and make it as comfortable and feeling like home as possible. Uh, even though we have all of this up above us, we don't come up here every day. And, um, and, you know, we have regular lives and, and jobs. And so, you know, it's easy to forget that there's a lot of paranormal activity going on upstairs. And it's easy to, you know, ignore it when you're just living your life, you know, except on those rare occasions where, you know, you might cross paths with this residual energy and, and makes you go, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> hey, I love it. It, we've all come to really love it and initially when the idea was proposed there's no doubt that you got some sideways stares and looks and all of that that comes along with saying hey I want to live in jail not quite everybody's norm or cup of tea so to speak but for me and our family that's been here and experience and friends that have come through it's been nothing but magical essentially it's a massive playground from the living to those that are still here with us and you know the spirit realm or afterlife but for us it's energy and it's positive energy that we bring and there's a lot of harsh kind of maybe even residual negative energy that's been here but we like to believe that we are a part of its history now. We have forever changed the history. So for us, it just adds to the story and the depth and the experiences we've had. So even having you here for us is why we got the jail. And over the years, we've gotten a lot of love and we appreciate the fact that people are now sharing stories that they wanted to come in. They wanted to see where their family members were locked up. People passing through who just want to see history. And we open that up with an open heart and an open mind. And having people like you come in and shed new light and new perspective is something that we'll forever cherish. And y'all ever get creeped out in here? Like, yes. What, you do? Still? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. How often? Like, what, 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 what really happens? I guess to kind of creep you out nowadays, since you've mm, seen so much. I still don't like the third floor, um, and um, it's just a feeling that'll happen randomly. I could be up here working for hours, and you know, bring along a little television and watching a movie while I work on my art, and all of a sudden I'll hear something, or something will move, or I'll just get this overwhelming feeling that somebody's behind me. Mm -hmm. And you guys would recommend living in a haunted jail to people? A haunted jail, a historic home, um, an old building that you might not even consider making into a home. Um, they all need love and restoration and preservation, and if you have that kind of, um, you know, energy or ambition, we highly suggest it. Yes. <laughs> America, we have somewhat of a short history and everything's moving so fast nowadays. I think it's time for us to celebrate the structure, the past, the building, and if you have that opportunity, save it. It's absolutely a living structure and being. If you don't occupy these spaces, if they don't breathe and get airflow and taken care of, it dies, it falls apart. It's a natural cycle of all things. If you have the opportunity, save it. Save history, celebrate it, share it. Any final words? Uh, I'm so curious as to what's gonna happen to you guys tonight when you investigate. Be careful. Ooh, be careful. I'm a spooky omen. <laughs> With him, you never know. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> I'll just say thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. And if I don't meet you in this life, I'll meet you in the next. Badass, guys. That's it. Okay guys, so it's about 10, 15, 10, 30 right now. We ate dinner, took a break, and Jeff and I are back in the building, and we actually already 
went upstairs and set up two static cameras and some investigation equipment. We're going to start the investigation right away because we were feeling very creepy on the third floor, almost like someone was walking right behind us. Do you want to grab the connect? Yep, I'm going to grab. Is that everything? Yep. Oh, spirit box is over there. You'll notice that it is eerie in here. Yeah, they've, the they've turned all the lights off up here. There's a front camera with just a boom mic. Okay, everybody. So. Just to start this investigation off, I want to remind everybody that we have a Patreon. This is my full-time job, and if you guys want to see more videos with bigger locations and more scope, like more interviews, more people that we feature, more interesting spots, please consider becoming a patron. It's a small donation every month. We're, there's a brand new episode, a full-length investigation from Los Angeles from an abandoned Nazi ranch that's going to be uploaded there in the next day or two. Please consider becoming a patron. Anyways, there's my little business spiel. It would really help us out a lot. This is a full-time gig and takes a lot of work. Tonight, we are here at the Texas Jailhouse. That's one word. Uh, formerly the Anderson County Jail here in Anderson County. Um, we're in Palestine, Texas. And as you see right here, I got my yellow sweatsuit on, my champion. If it would have been orange, it would have been fitting almost like an inmate uh, outfit. But we're gonna start this off right away. We've got a K2 meter that I'm gonna give to Jeff once we get in there. Our static camera's set up right in there. If I remind you guys, from the, that is a cell that was once inhabited by an infamous serial killer uh, from the area. He killed three people in Anderson County. He was eventually executed at Huntsville which is where the uh, state prison is. Uh, Death Row in Texas is located there. We've got the actual old jailhouse keys right here. We're gonna start this off by calling out to this. Did you hear something? I've been hearing a few things actually. Also gotta add in to people online. There's no light in here. It's literally pitch black because the windows are basically sealed in. So when we're in here, it's like, really dark compared to other investigations. Um, to anybody who is here in the county jail, I just want to let you know that tonight there are no guards. They're gone. There are no wardens, no sheriffs, no police officers. There's no one here to stop you from doing whatever you want to do. I have the keys right here and my dad and I are not police officers, but we're going to let you out of your cells. So when I crank this wheel, when I open up this jail door, I want you all to leave your cells and come over and follow our voices and talk to us tonight. So come on out. Got our static camera set up rolling. Let's get this thing started. We're gonna do infrared in a second, but is there anybody in this part of the jail with us? Can you knock on something or move something to let us know where you are? I feel like I keep hearing a lot of movement from over there. What do you think? Well, when you were talking, they were behind me. I kept looking to the left. I don't know if you noticed mm -hmm. that. It's back behind me. You know. Should we just leave this here and go walk through the catwalk I, I in the would. dark? Yeah. How about, you know, you want to go? Well, look at this thing, by the way. Okay. Look at it. It's a steady. K2 is reading steadily at. Two, which means either way there's a solid EM signal in here, which spirits could use to manifest. Okay. And if there's any energy, hopefully they can push these bobs over. Walk through in the pitch black. So since this area that we're in, you can see we're still with these cells, um, is actually bordered by the catwalk area, which is a big uh, 
what would you call it? A walkway? Yeah, passageway. Walk. Mm-hmm. It goes all the way around walkway. these cells, and it's open, so you can see in here, so we can hear what's happening in here and basically see it. So we're going to walk through the catwalk because that's where people have seen shadow figures, had different weird experiences, and we're going to do it in the pitch black, which is kind of spooky, but... You ready? Yep, I'm ready. How are you feeling tonight? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of energy again here. You know, again, talking about how places feel empty, this does not feel empty. I mean, no. in that room even, you know, and we have to go to the third floor, That's which is where... That's scary to me, yeah, honestly. It's, it's, I mean, right now I just felt <laughs> like my whole body got goosebumps, you know. Almost, Did you hear that? What? Bumps, you know. Almost, Did you hear that? What? Bumps, you know. Almost, Did you hear that? What? Getting it sounded, it sounded wow. like, it sounded like a shh. I just got a killer pain in my gum mm -hmm. all the way up oh, through my weird. mouth, like the root of my fucking tooth. Ah, oh. I like I could feel it in my sinus on the side. Strange. That EMF is Oh yeah, look at another K2 stopped. Oh, there it came. Oh, oh what? Yeah. Right, and then what's... Can you make that light up more? Go more. Just show us you're here. Come on. I it's like it wants keep hearing like noises like outside, like in the catwalk area. Not solid. Keep going. It's strong, you know. Yeah, that's, that's solid just a now. Strong signal. It's, it's yeah. strong now. Okay. Catwalk. Yep. Let's do it. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Screw this. <laughs> Oh god, dude. Oh, that's cool. Well, let's just show them on camera. You have a flashlight? Yeah. Here's what we see, guys. And it's not... I'm just trying to show you that this is pitch black. Like, here's the hallway we're about to go down. That's what we're seeing without the night vision. Yeah, I know. Like, pitch black. And it, this is very creepy, man. And I do want to mention to people that I didn't even think that this was going to be that eerie in here when we initially walked through and there's like you know christmas stuff around but i'm like really kind of freaked out how, how aren't you feeling that way i can kind yeah. of tell you are too yeah no, i am i'm uneasy I think yeah that's kind that's of what a I'm good word for it uneasy yeah i mean i haven't really felt anything intense quite yet it's just more upstairs the third floor definitely and, and there's just heavy this is um you know well it's just i think it's going to start happening yeah. Mm -hmm. And don't forget that there's the potential for a serial killer who killed multiple people, his spirit, and then a guy who was a police officer who shot and killed his own wife. Jerry. Yeah, both of those Jerry. to be here. In addition to the people that were hanged for their crimes on this property, the other murderers that were here. There's a lot of like negative energy, I feel like, in this building. Yeah. And he even said people got bruises. So. Yeah, right. Okay, let's do it. Hello? Oh, oh, what? 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 I saw that. I thought I saw something moving. Oh, it's the light. Jesus, I literally can't see a thing. Jesus. Okay, there's a noise. Oh my god, okay, dude. Let's just, just a this is very second. creepy. thing is look in front of you I know dude I am. it's, it's literally to. completely pitch black let me just show people dude I've never been in a building this dark to investigate like literally I can't I can't even see my own hand in front of me okay I'm feeling some bad I'm feeling bad juju this room actually oh that little bear scared me Jesus yeah. you see that thing that looks like um, 
That is absolutely astounding how dark that is. Is there anybody here with us right now? Who's here with us in the jail? Did you kill somebody? Somebody used to reach out and try to grab people, right? Yeah. They haven't even gone to the third floor. I swear they've seen the shadow, man. Got your light oh, on. Geez. Got your light on again. I know. Come over here. Just, just stand by me, man. I'm like, James. I know, but to see the best. I can bear. Oh, that is creepy. Can you knock on something if you're with us? Can you do that again? Jesus, this is scary, man. This is like reminds me of the woman in black. That's the hallway right there that I feel like is the most. Ooh. How about Jerry, are you here? Would he be upstairs? Yeah. He, he could come down, but. Make a noise. Bang on the, any, any of the jail cell bars. Oh, there's a sound. Hear that? Mm -hmm. Can you do that again? I think that was inside here. Oh, I got like a really heavy feel. Okay, that, the REM pod just went off. We let you out of your cells to roam around. There's something moving right here. There's noises in here. I know, I can't find the guy's name. Seems like you're making some noise. Hello? Did you kill somebody? I'm expecting something to just come running out of there at us. Aren't you? I wish it would. Not me. Jesus, this is dark. Is this his cell? Still? Yes. Oh. Is that actually a cell? Oh. Is that actually a cell? Oh. Ooh. It's like a piece of piping. <laughs> oh. I've got a ringing in my ears. I just I have a big ringing in my left ear. Okay. Let's sit right here for a second. The serial killer's cell is right there. 
Yep, we, we know it. The jail here. pen is right over here to the left. Is that? Yeah. I'm going to turn on the office. Oh, there's the, that's there's the, the elevator. Gallows. The gallows were there from the old jail. That came, they hung right from that shaft. Scrape here. What do you want to scrape? Like they want to scrape here? Like scrape us? Idle. Do you feel idle in here? Trapped like a prisoner? Literally, I have a toothache on both sides of my mouth. This side and this side. I could never Maybe live it's here, man. This is like bad energy up yeah. here, seriously. Again, can you give us your name on that device that Colin has in his hand? Just anybody who's here, give us your name. Jumped several. Did yeah. you jump several people and end up in this prison? Cube. <gasps> like, it's, like this a, is a cube right here. This is literally a cube. A giant cube of cells. Is that how you ended up in this cube? By jumping several people? People. God. People. God. How do you? People. God. Again, can you give us just one name? There's a lot of you here. Stand. Stand? Yep. We're sitting right you now. You want us to stand? O-I. Oi? Oi. That's like a yes, isn't it? Oi. Stand. I'm going to stand. I'm just going to stand. Or tell me why you were in here. Is this over the cell over here? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to come over here. Ashes. Were you cremated? I come a little more. Oh, definitely smells something over here. Gosh, it's creepy over here. Human ashes. What? Pam. Pam. Look at Pam. Look at Pam. Human ashes. We gotta look to see if this serial killer, by chance, killed someone named Pam. That's crazy we're that look we up. get that either way, and his door no, no, is no. right there. Human ashes. See? Right here. Hey, dude, go over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's cold right here. Okay, I'm going to put my hand down here. You want to reach out and grab it? Tell me if you're in here. Give me a sign that you're, you're, you're biased right here. Did you kill someone named Pam and burn her body? I'm feeling cold too, man. It's really cold. Like a breeze. Like right here. It's like almost like an electrical cold. Can you look at me through the window and the door? You kind of drew me over here. There's got to be a reason. Did you kill Pam? Power. What? Did that make you feel powerful when you killed Pam? I'll put you closer to here. I'll put my hand down here. It's kind of creepy, actually. Put your hand in Students. There. Students. Students. Did you kill students? You know, this is a... oh, that's so eerie. Cover soul. Soul. What could that possibly mean? Like bury a body or something? So I was thinking, like, put something, no. drape it over a body. Are you trying to tell us about your victims? Knock on his door. Okay. Tell him to come out. Okay, you ready? Hey, look at this. I know, it's, I've been filming. I'm gonna knock on your door. Come out. This is really Maybe we should back up a little bit. Yeah. Always. Did you kill people? I said. Always. Are you killing people still now? 
In the afterlife? His soul will always kill. Do you want to kill us? Iron. Iron. Yeah, this is iron. Is it? Oh shit, dude. Oh, oh f What do yeah, you want to we'll do? Crack it open a little bit. You want to look? Yeah. Iron, like open iron door. <sighs> is your soul in here? That's scary, man. Oh my god. Can you put your camera in there? Are you in there? Say something. Yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna close. <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's a little too intense right now. Yeah. Let's do the spirit box for a sec. Oh, window. No, no. Thank. Window. Iron window? Thank. Well, we were just, we were just asking him to look through the window. We were looking on the window. I was literally asking him to put his face in the window. And we Should opened we the look? door and he said, thank you. Should we go look? Oh, Jesus. At the window? I guess. Just, I think we should look at the window. Oh god. Oh man. This is really scary. Whoa! What am I seeing over there? Oh. Dude, dude. Oh. Oh. Club? Grandfather? Did he oh, club? We gotta find out who he's killed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he could have clubbed a grandfather to death, right? Mm hmm. So, so maybe he ham students or maybe a he, grandfather. He could even be saying he wants to club a grandfather. You know that could be his could, desire could to be. kill still because he said forever always will kill. Maybe he's just so psycho he was always attacking guards. He's just saying like I want to club a grandfather. But I want look human at malice. Chicken. chicken maximum malice. He's calling us chickens because we didn't walk over uh, to the. Thing. He's got maximum, maximum malice, malice towards us maybe. Holy shit. You think we're chicken? We didn't walk over to the door. Remember, we stopped and kind of went, Do <gasps> you have maximum malice towards us? I am not a grandfather, by the way. Oh, this guy's shooting pain in my right arm. Okay, should we walk over to the window? <gasps> yeah. Fresh batteries. It says. That's so weird, because I was just looking at my battery and noticing how I only had two bars. You think we need fresh, but look, here's the window. I'm looking in. Oh, Jesus. Damn. What? Cable. Finger weight cable? What would that be? It says finger weight cable. Weight? weight. It's cold right here, too. It's cold over here. July 9? We should remember that. Mm hmm. Let me see. Just weird. I'm just trying to say this, something else like this? Aileen. Could be a name too. They're trying to spell out Al. Al. Something. We could look at Al. Mm -hmm. We need to look at the grandfathers. Like who were his victims? Puncture. What the hell? Bacon. No, like, does he want to stab a cop? Like, you know how criminals yeah. call police pigs? Mm-hmm. Are you saying you want to hurt a cop? You know, I kind of feel like, um, almost like our last kind of investigation, where I think there's, like, a lot of activity is on that third floor. You couldn't even hear the REM pod right now if it was going off, too. Yeah. You but have I, no idea. But, I mean, I kind of don't... I mean, that's kind of what... I think we should go They've up there. said as well, you know, like it's the third floor. I don't know about you, but I'm literally afraid to go upstairs. Yeah, it's That's, definitely. It's hard to describe. I think it's anxiety. Yeah, I have extreme anxiety about going up there. Blaze. Especially how. Oh. Okay, I don't know what. This should we wait on this? There's anybody down here? I got so cold all of a sudden. Do you? Town packed blaze. Or is that just me? What? I'm like. What the f gone? What the f is that? Dude, what the f is that? That was a dog. That was a dog, dude. What the hell? Are you <laughs> kidding me? 
Wait a second. Remember he said he saw a ghost dog on the interview. No. He said that. He said on this floor. Oh my god. I and am I freaking, literally just told you I got so cold. I am freaking like... What? I'm like... What the f***, Colin? What the f***? What? I'm like... What the f***, Colin? The f I've actually seen spirit animals. Uh, in the jail a couple of times. I've never even heard of them and I saw a dog and I'm like There's a dog in the jail and went around the corner and it, there was nothing. What? I'm like What the f*** Colin? What the f*** is that? Dude, what the f*** is that? Here! Colin! What the hell? That was a freaking dog! Dude, what the hell? That came from literally right behind you. Showed I, I know, I almost don't a, want to sit here. This is just a straight up wall, dude. Like, where would that what? even come from? This is a, I mean, oh my here. god. That's insane. That was like a dog whining. That was 100% a dog. Well, that's going to be completely clear on here. Have we ever caught something like that before? What in the hell? Honestly, that was you a- You thought you saw a cat up here before. Right? I thought we were- A cat meow! You no, heard I heard a cat, cat meow. meow! Here, in the same area! Yes, right here. But that's a freaking dog. And look, there's a dog bone! Oh my and god. And a fire hydrant! And what? a dog! What? Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Is that why he put that here? What? Come here, buddy! <whistles> Come on out! Let's play, I got a bone for you. I just can't believe, dude. What in the hell would that be? Like honestly, that you—that's gonna be it. That's a freaking dog. I mean, heard him with our own ears. I didn't—I didn't hear him say that though on the ghost dog. No, he—he he 100%. Look at, dude, a head puddle, dude. There's a puddle over there of water. Uh huh. Look at that. I okay, I think... okay. Puddle ahead. That's what I'm saying. Remember? Mm -hmm. She said, look out for this puddle. Mm -hmm. There's a puddle of water over there. Over, right over in the cell over there. Man, that is okay. unbelievably strange that we just heard a dog okay. noise. And the, then look at it. Okay. There's a dog display right in front of but us. But is that because he saw the ghost dog here, you said? He said, on, yeah, when we were sitting at the table that he saw a ghost dog here. But th that's what I mean then. That's, what he's, yeah. that, that's why he's putting that stuff here. And that literally came okay. from right here. That is freaking insane, man. I've I mean, never heard something like that. Never. Ever. I mean, I, I can't even believe that almost happened. I'm kind of afraid now. Like, that where is that? Like, where is that? It, it was up from, in there. It came from, yeah, up here. Up here. Like behind you. Like, up in this wall. Okay. Yeah, it's cold. There's a breeze right what's, now. What's, what's, and... What's, what's eerie is right before we heard that dog, I was saying on camera that all of a sudden I felt really cold. I don't feel that cold anymore all of a sudden, but well, still, every hair on my body was... You know, I still have cold on me. now that. I'm getting cold, yeah, again. I feel still. cold. Okay, but um, how do you do that? I've never freaking encountered a damn know. dog noise like that. That's just crazy to me, you know? Right when we were about to Shh. leave. Oh, okay. A little. It was sort of like whimpers and then a whoo. Yeah, more like a just. A, mm -hmm. Okay, that's gonna be like a really crazy. Yeah. You know. An EVP, I guess. That's one of the clearest I, I, I've ever heard. I mean, I mean, that's a complete. Like a, a completely a dog whining. Uh -huh. Clear. I bet that's gonna really show on the camera. And we've also been here like an hour and we haven't heard any noise like that. And we were here doing the interviews and our walkthrough. Not a single noise like that. Come here, boy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on down here. Sit on my lap. Come on. Come on. Come here, bud. I have a pooch named Bentley. Come on. Come on. You can sit here. Oh, unless we want to go ahead of the puddle. Maybe I think we need to go upstairs. Maybe, maybe it's moving over to there. Maybe. 
Oh my god, I'm also feeling so cold, dude. I was hearing once again, I swear I've heard like footsteps upstairs, like little. Wanna go up there? But maybe. Okay, did, did you hear that? That was like a. Oh, I did hear something like that, yeah. I don't. Not quite a growl. I feel like sick all of a sudden. Yeah, it's, it's stuck. It's stuck on a head. You see that? Mm hmm. It's still the same. The head puddle. Can you say one more thing to us if you're in here? Before we move on to the second floor, let's you go upstairs I mean? and do the spirit box. Okay. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Okay, so we just came in here to grab the equipment and look at the. Oh, how do you get this thing to turn this off? Oh, oh what nice the spell. hell? Okay, but well, that's okay. Oh, oh. The look. Okay. What? Okay, just ask. Let's try to. Are you here with us? Can you step towards the K2? Wow, that was mm. on a solid yellow. There it is. Wow, that is an extremely powerful EMF field. Look Breaking at that. Too. That's insane. Can you make it go higher? I've got a headache on the right Me side. Me too. I the head. same. I same. Right side of my head too. Did somebody get punched here on the right side of the head or get stabbed or something? Oh, I feel cold in the back of my neck. Well, we're gonna go upstairs now and do a spear box in the most haunted part of the jail. Oh, it's so cold. Well, my eyes are blurry, and then this is blurry. The camera. Why is this so blurry? I think that's something to do with this light. Yeah, I think that's. I like can't remember a time when I was like genuinely scared recently. I'm like, I don't really want to be up here. You know, this is just like creepy up here. Like, oh, yuck. I'm actually feeling like this is creepy in here. Okay, guys. This is your place up here. Massive. Maximum massive. security holding. You were held here until you were moved to Huntsville where you were hung for, for killing all the people you did. Let us know you're here. I'm gonna put the keys. I've got the jailhouse keys. Put them right here. Man. What do you think? I mean, okay, let's go completely lights out for a sec. Okay. Let's go in there and do a. Oh, 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 Hello? I'll just wait and see what's over here. My back hurts again, too. My, my back hurts, too. Jesus. Ugh, this guy's just eerie. Oh! Oh, oh that's the first. Okay. Dude. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's creepy. This is the room, man. Yeah, this is. <laughs> I don't like him, actually. I've got like a max. I've had, I have a freaking headache. Here. Do you not want us in here? Are you here? Did you come down here? Come on in. Come in the room. Come in the room. Let me sit down for a sec. Rum pod. Oh. Do yeah. that. The REM pod. Again, three. Look at that. There's insane energy in here, man. The REM pod had not gone off. 
I know. Right when we came here to this room. I think I'm. I think. Can I try the connector? Yeah. Let's I mean, down just because we just spirit just, box in here. Oh, okay. So we're now sitting in the room where the owners of the jail uh, they received a letter from an old inmate who was actually in this room. And this inmate said that while he was an inmate here at the jail, he saw spirits in this room. He was tormented by the spirit of a young child and other different spirits and entities. So I'm going to do the Estes method. I'm going to put my hood over my head, cover my eyes, and put these headphones on and just read out the spirit box responses that I'm hearing while Jeff asks the questions. And I won't be able to hear his questions. So that eliminates any sort of matrixing. Do the... Um K2 meters been flicking off here. Yeah, it's all on. Okay, you ready? Okay, just tell me your name. Or anyone who's in here, just give me a name. Help. Pieces. I don't give a sh oh, I'm in shackles. Okay, what what um, crime did you commit? I stole it. So you stole it, so you're, you're a thief. What else? Tell me where you're from. Where are you from? Normal. Light the fire. The Reverend. Demon. You think there's a demon in here? They nicked him. Smell like smoke. Turn on them. What did you steal? The yellow suit. <laughs> wow. You stole a yellow suit? I know Colin has a yellow no. suit. Oh. Can you just say yes or no? Just validate, say yes or no. Either one. Yes or no. Either way. Okay, so that's yes or no. It's over. Something's flashing. On the floor. How about just a name again? Anybody's name? Jordal. The woo! It just said, ooh, the women. Okay. I don't. I literally just heard something in here go, Colin. Really? In the spirit box, and I'm like, full body chills right now. Oh. That was. I'm so sad that that didn't come through actually out loud. Oh, well, I was asking, God. I was asking them just to say a name. No. Yeah, any name. It literally was like, Colin, like, like no, no matrixing at all. I'm like, That's are you freezing cold? Or is I'm me? very cold. I'm like freezing cold. It's like really Fuck cold. This thing. I don't even want to do this anymore. That was. Wanna like, wait? Honestly, What's the really creepy to me? Is there anything on that came up on the? Bobless. It just said mad and news when we're downstairs, but nothing up here. Okay, that's okay. You just keep it. It's, it's like, is there something here that we have to explore? That's so scary. How would I even know my name? We haven't even said my name. Well, it doesn't really. I mean, we could have, but it doesn't really matter. Still, if it said it. Either way, what do you think we should do? I don't know, it's so quiet in here. Oh, this place really gives me the okay. willies, man. Well, I brought the, you know, the, the SLS camera. Yeah, why don't we do the SLS out there? This doesn't <laughs> Here, we gotta... Don't know what the f*** is hitting now. It's really hitting. Okay, are you on? Mm-hmm. Okay, did you not want us to leave? Oh my god, I got chills, man. And that was 
right when we walked to oh, that is not that went off once and then uh -huh. left when we came in there. And, and I paused left, so we could leave. And now when we left. Like you said, I'm, how come this is like, I don't get it. Like, what's happening? Makes no sense. We're gonna be leaving pretty soon. You wanna show yourself? What was that? What? This thing just, just died! That just, that just, just died! died now. What are the odds, okay. dude? What are the odds? Did you make that die just now? <laughs> These cells freak me I out. It's, I think it's like... Let's go over here. here again. Surely they're not touching the room pump. Oh, the keys were there too. Oh yeah, you're right. Are you gonna follow us back in here again? Are you here? Oh man, I am like, sh I've got, Whoa. literally, I'm like, my whole body is just tingling. Are you here? Show yourself. Okay, I'm editing this video right now. Holy shit. I cannot believe that I just heard that voice in that clip. I literally had to whip my phone out to give you guys my reaction here because that was extremely clear. I knew that those dog sounds were in this video, but Jeff and I were standing right next to each other here, and I guess neither of us heard that because of the REM pod. I, wow. That's freaky, man. Are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Show yourself. Are you here? Show yourself. That is so weird. Though. That was crazy. Just when we come here. What's up with here, that? Let me look in here. Ah! Ow! Jesus. Ow! My hair got caught in something. Okay. Look at that. There's one of my hairs. Oh, it is. It's got Hold caught in there. Hold your hair out. What the hell? Did you come in here? Because we're going to leave. We're leaving. You're going to show yourself. You better do it now. He looks weird. Let me get a shot of that. He certainly looks very creepy on that, though. He does. He's giving me like a Slender Man vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine just seeing not, that on like yeah. a blank hallway. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that would be creepy. Here, let me see. Come here, on. come this way and oh, shoot you know the doorway. You know, you... Just sit here and ask for it to come. Oh, 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 did you hear that? What was it? Like a scream or a squeak. Hello? Walk by this chair through this door. And, like, I know. Cool. This is just a creepy wing. Is there anybody in this area with us? Now's the time to let us know you're here, right? This device will show you if you just come out. Come out of your door and stand. that time when you walked by it. Looks like a face right there. It is. That's weird. God, I almost hate to come in here. Oh, Jesus. Are you in here? Show yourself. Are you out there? All of a sudden, there's so many tabs out there. I think you may even get out of this room. Like, yeah. Claustrophobic or something here. Yeah. Let me see if I can get a wider shot to try to, you know. I just kind of think there's something here, but we're not in the right spot. We have no camera left anymore. 
Should we walk through this hallway? Sure. Just like you come around. What's gonna be here? What's down there? Another oh, room. Oh, what? what is that? What? Is there anybody in here? Anybody here? From back there now. Did you follow us here? Let's just call it a night. I'm honestly exhausted. Should we? Yeah. Okay guys, so we've been using the SLS for a while, all of our different devices, and it's super late. We're both exhausted. We feel like we got more than enough evidence that we needed. The Dog it's been was like crazy. Four hours. Yeah, it's been a very long shoot interview day. But thank you to everybody who came out tonight. And please do not follow us back to our hotel. Well, I think the interesting part, just to say one thing, is that dog, just like a dog. I mean, mm -hmm. you said like it's not really an EVP. But. We'll catch up with you guys in the morning, but for now, this is our goodbye to the Texas jailhouse.